Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Taurus. It is a general reading. That being said, it may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't sound like it's your story, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. So, Taurus, um, something is changing. Um, and I feel like you don't want this change. Uh, you're very resistant to it. Some news has come in that has really upset you um, and but you are trying to prevent the tower from falling so you're trying to hold everything together or hold yourself together you may feel like you've lost control of something so there's a lot of instability going on here we have also the uh, four of wands in the reverse as you can see this top part here and so there's a this is a card that speaks to a lot of um, insecurities and difficulties unexpected change now I feel like it did come in unexpectedly with the tower we do have it in the reverse so you are resistant to it um, I feel like uh, I feel like you're losing or you feel like you're losing something or there's something uh, you don't want to let go of having to do with this situation. You know, um, and I have change over here. It's like a, this change is unexpected but yet they say it is necessary change okay there's some very intense feelings surrounding communication and maybe maybe uh, lots of communication so maybe more than one communication yeah very intense feelings your guard is up you feel like somebody has put you in the cold. Um, you may be looking back at what you stand to lose, or what you've, what you've, what you've already lost, and what more you stand to lose, um, because the loss is clearly here. The initial loss is emotional. And the secondary one coming in that follows right behind it is a realization of what you may stand to lose material-wise. I feel like you're transitioning from one relationship possibly into another. Uh, or that this, this relationship here could be ending and your whole life is changing. It's like a huge transition, whether you are heading out on your own or with someone but I do feel like there's somebody else here in in the picture you're afraid yeah you're afraid um, you could be feeling when it comes to the emotion it's like you're on edge you're uh, feeling a lot of there's a lot of intense feelings surrounding uh, surrounding this change because uh, it's like a you you don't want this uh, you don't want to lose this um, emotional tie perhaps I feel like you're you're uh, you're looking for a bridge uh, and maybe uh, wanting or, or hoping to find a way to get this person to meet you halfway on that bridge. You... Um, You could be, uh, or maybe you have been in denial uh, about 
feelings, somebody's feelings, uh, yours or theirs. And this could have been going on, or there was a red flag that came up having to do with uh, feelings in the last year, possibly. There could have been uh, an emotional tug of war or some some power struggle going on between you and someone else. It feels like you were unable to work together and um, you feel like they've just put you out in the cold. Um, and you would be questioning this person's loyalties to you. Um, their feelings for you. Um, and you may feel like something was ugh, just one big illusion. You could be questioning uh, their story, your own story. Um, there is a small glimmer of hope I always see that, that follows uh, this reading it's like you feel like you're losing it all or you stand to but there's a that little glimmer of hope that maybe I can save this get them to change their mind or to meet me halfway on this bridge So there's a there's a wee bit of a warning with this these cards up here. So here we have this two of swords, um, and so you could be at a standstill with this person. Um, there's a lot of emotions here, but justice. You're looking at justice. You okay? So you feel like they've been really unfair. Okay, you don't you don't want this fight you don't you want to find a peaceful solution and restore the balance um, again with justice you could be um, thinking about or questioning their story the six of swords is about moving uh, something to calmer water so this is about uh, trying to find a peaceful solution again getting them to meet you on that bridge and uh, carry this forward to uh, a better place or a calmer place now this six of swords uh, first of all justice would be asking you to think logically uh, about uh, what you are about to do uh, to to look at this with logic because uh, there could be consequences for what you are about to do because we see the churning of emotions here in the background. I feel again, once again, you're trying to hold it together. And so if there's a decision to stay and to move this to calmer waters, this is about uh, holding it together, persevering. The problem is that is the swords. Is that woman hiding that child? It is, um, it is about moving something forward, but there's still secrets. And uh, you're carrying the, the wounds uh, with you. The swords symbolize old in injuries and you're carrying them aboard. Yeah, like not aboard, but onto the shore. Old wounds. And so even if you get it here to this calmer waters, what this card is saying is even if you get it here, there's still a threat because you you're you're still hiding something uh and um maybe you're hiding these old wounds these injuries or maybe it's something else or maybe they're hiding something 
but I feel like this is more about your decision to move this forward, um, to hold this up, uh, despite there being an emotional loss, and despite the wounds that you carry. You're, um, so you're going through a transition and, and you can really see that you don't want this. Look, your face is covered. Whatever you've learned here, um, you're not happy about it. So you're trying to heal it. Um, you want, uh, You want a new beginning with this person or or you want to you want to save this tower from falling. Um, but you still have the wound and you you feel this person is hiding something from you uh, or or that that you're going forward really what you're doing is is it's like a temporary truce because all the problems are still there. You're still in the Eight of Swords energy. You're still not trusting. Whoops, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that, but my little dogs are here and one of them is snoring. Um, anyway, so um, you need to take a deeper look at this because that's her. She's thinking about this person, this situation. What I feel is uh, there's somebody else in this picture too. So there could be a third party, a lover possibly. Maybe uh, she's uh, afraid that won't work out also. Like, I mean, maybe she feels she's better off uh, or she's better off to stay here with what she knows possibly for someone taking a deeper look at a direction um tape taking a deeper look at a direction um, maybe you're hoping for uh luck uh with the clover um or some type of relief when it comes to answers that would provide the relief uh, with regards to a direction that you wish to take. You're looking for the right path, the right decision. But what I feel is you are, because it's still here in the future, about you being resistant to this ending. So you're still going to, I feel, you're going to choose to stay here and continue to try to hold things together because you're unwilling maybe to uh, you're unwilling to th because there's some type of loss you must accept in order to to move forward and be free of this you see and I feel like uh, because that's what they're saying. But you're not ready to release whatever whatever this is that's that's holding you here. Something that you're very much attached to. And so I mean, you could choose the other option, but I feel you're going to choose this one. I feel like you are going to climb aboard whatever uh, is will be offered in order to uh, maybe maintain a certain status or not to lose something that you that you value. <clears throat> I 
And so this is about a healing. The question is, will you be happy? And so you have a decision to make and you need to look at both sides very carefully because with justice being here, it is about consequences, the consequences of our decisions, the consequences of, you know, um, taking a decision based on emotion or even not taking the decision. So you must decide, think it through carefully. And um, that is what I have for you. I thank you for watching, for liking, and for sharing my videos, and for subscribing. Um, also, thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings to all of you.